Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's BJ. And we're coming to you one last time this regular season for the Big Apple, New York City. The biggest city on the East Coast. And, uh... <clears throat> New York City! <laughs> yeah! Always, always uh, nice to stop in town. Always nice to get out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> always nice to play in Apple, Park, Apple Field, though. I, I do like playing here. There's some good... There's good vibes in this this ballpark, and they usually have some pretty good teams too. Yes, they do. I read right. that in in um, the team info that <laughs> that we were handed <laughs> when we got here. Yeah. No, I didn't even think the uh, to check out to check this team out um, real quick. Where are those pigs? Two up. There we are. Wild pigs. What are we looking at? Luke Michaels, Stockton Brickhouse. That's right, Stockton's here. Rhonda Horn is here. A couple old uh, overdogs. Aiden Runette, I think, is someone. Flash Evans always been here forever. Uh, Man and Man and Moon's been here, I think. Wally Bacon, my. We run a restaurant together. <laughs> Wes Yogurt. Uh, yeah, Whiff Smith. Okay, all right. So yeah, these are all. Most of these, most of these have been here for quite a while. But you got some names up there at the top, like Brickhouse. Horn, um, and I, th I can't remember if Man and Moon came from somewhere else. Let's find out real quick. Man and Moon, has Man and Moon been here? Yeah, he's always been a wild pig as far as we can tell. Okay, so that's the team we're facing today. Uh, a little bit about the last game. It, it was a good It was a good game. <laughs> uh, the the Beatles got things started at the bottom of the fourth. Billy LeBoyne comes up to bat with two outs and hits one out in the left center field. It's a it's a long one, nice con connection on it. It's a double RBI that brings Wood Woodman around from first, put him up one nothing. It's three innings later, at the top of the seventh, that uh, Alfonso Delgado comes out uh, with two outs. Is that right? Delga no, it's Pants. I think Pants it was Delgado. Yeah, yeah, I think Pants. He hit the home run. That's right. I'm sorry. Okay, so start over. I've got seven A. That's the that's the that means the top of the seventh. Okay, it's the top of the seventh. In pants. three, yes. two, one, Pant, go. Yes. Pants <laughs> comes up with two out, uh, two outs, a three-two count, full full count. That's ripped into center field. Puts it barely oh, over the center field wall, and uh, ends ends Frangipani's no hitter at the top of the seventh. It was it was a perfect game up and not a perfect game. It was a no hitter right up until that point. And they just get that one, the Gold Coats do. The Beatles answer quickly, though. In the bottom of the seventh, Benny Ballmer comes in to pinch hit for a struggling, um, struggling, what's his name? You know that guy? Buster, <laughs> Buster Biggs. Biggs in left field, yeah. He gets this uh, left field RBI, brings Dex all the way around from second, puts the Beatles back in front two to one. And that's all it would end up being. Then the top of the ninth, uh, Ballard comes up, Frangipani K's him on her 106th pitch. I, it was, it was her. Um, so it was a called game, one hitter, one hitter. I think this is the closest we've ever come to seeing a no hitter. What a performance by Frank Pony. Yeah, definitely. She was on, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she was unhittable. I mean, she uh, she was setting them down, and, and with the exception of that one um, hit by Delgado, that ju just uh, like you said, just hit the top of the wall. Uh, unfortunately, maybe if the outfielders were playing back on that one, maybe maybe uh, Magic Moore has a chance of making the catch there. But uh, you know, um, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I mean, but uh, a one hitter and uh, she brings home a victory. So uh, I mean, Fran Japani just on fire this season, um, having one of the best seasons of her of her career, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, any any pitcher will defer to their defense. The defense did play well, not to take that away from pitching, but anytime you have something close to a no hitter like that, there's, it, the, you know, she didn't strike everyone out. The the fielders had to field the ball several times. They had to make those catches, so they really supported her there. Uh, it was a good effort all the way around. But yeah, not something we're used to seeing by anyone as solid as people pitching is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So there you go. Got her. Got her uh, ERA down to a 1.77, which is, I mean, that's got to be close to the best in the league right now, especially for a starting pitcher. You might see numbers like that with a relief pitcher or, or a closer, but uh, for a starting pitcher to have an ERA of 1.77, a, a, a record of 4-2, and two, 
Um, yeah. You know, she's only given up 12 runs this year. Wow. Yeah, she's right now, she's at the top of the list, the top 10, number one Frangipani, 177 ERA. Uh, she's got a 184 batting average, even. 61 is any pitch she's got. It says one called game. Is that her only called game? Uh, yeah. Huh. Oh, good. She's got one. Diva Ortiz has one, and Hurley Bender has two. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I thought that was. I thought it was another call game because this is her first. Well, good for her for sticking with it. Um. Yeah. So anyway, uh, bring it, Before we get to today's game, then we're gonna go. We got eleven other games to tell you about. The Arctic started things off in Houston against the Crocodons. Pete, what'd you see there? I saw the Arctics take an early lead. The Crocs try to come back, but the Arctics hold on to win 7-2. Charge missed a three-run home run. Outlaws of the Burners, Burners 7-5. The Moose taking on these big wild pigs. The wild pigs. Six in the end. Another three-run home run. Crocs at the Buzzards, and it's a Buzzards victory, 7-3. Herbisaurus taking on the Sawteeth. Big ramifications for the trade division. Sawteeth will take that one 5-3. Wide loads of the Platypi, and it's a wide loads victory, 4-3. The Water Bullets and the Nemesis. And the Nemesis playing ball, they're going to take that one 4-1. to one. Overdogs were at Houston at the Jacks. Overdogs started out big. Jacks fought back, but the Overdogs beat them 11-4. Platypi travel to take on the Hot Corners. The Hot Corners take an early lead. It's back and forth, and the Hot Corners will win 6-5 at the end. Outlaws of the Herbosaurs. It's Outlaws, 5-4. The Burners taking on the Heaters. That's a hot one. It's a hot one. It's a back and forth battle, and the burners will win it six to four in the end. Let oh, them burn. Saying in the end, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. All right, the Pioneer Conference Pathfinder Division. The Burners have a three and a half game lead in first place with a record of twenty one and fifteen. The Moose and the Freedom are both in second place, tied for second place with records of seventeen and eighteen. Very nice. Uh, in the Uncharted Division, it's the Oklahoma Outlaws out in front at 23 and 13. Great, great season for them. They 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 fought hard last season, and it looks like this year they really want to do it. But the San Diego Platypus aren't going to just let it happen. They're one game back, and they are 22 and 14, vying for that uh, that division lead. Uh, down in the Journey Division, the Freebooters, who seem to have a deadlock on first place in the Journey. They have a record of 25 and 10. They have the uh, career, I mean, the league best plus 59 run differential. And they hold a nine game lead over the second place grapplers who sit in second place with a record of 16 and 19. Over in our conference, Explorer Conference, Seafair Division, those California Gold Coats we just beat last week, buddy. They are in first place still with a record of 21 and 14. Still have a one and a half game lead uh, ahead of the Detroit Heaters who are 20 and 16 right on their heels. Uh, in the trade division, the B Wolves have a uh, are in first place with a record of 19 and 16. Um, they have a one game lead over the Water Bullets, who sit in second place with a record of 18 and 17. And finishing the things off in the Curiosity Division, it's the San Diego Saw. I'm sorry, San Jose Saw Teeth are 22 and 15 in first place and two and a half games ahead of the New York Wide Loads, who are 20 a respectable 20 and 18. And uh, real quick, just going to talk about the, uh, the when I talk, go to the season standings, to the wild card. Uh, right now, the wild card leader in the in the Pioneer Conference is the San Diego Platypi at 22-14. They got a three and a half game lead ahead of the Wild Pigs. Uh, wild Pigs aren't out of it, but they want to win here tonight. Yes, and uh, the Platypi have a, a pr pretty good lock on it uh, with that plus 31 run differential. The Wild Pigs, if they end the season with the same record, are, are going to fall short by uh, by a big margin there. Over in the Explorer Conference, the Heaters uh, hold currently hold the wild card position with a record of 20 and 16. They have a tenuous half game lead over the, the Overdogs who with a, a record of 19 and 16 are just a half game behind the heaters. And again, Overdogs with that plus 30 run differential almost doubles up the heaters and run differential. So again, if the heaters and Overdogs wind up ending the season with the same record, it would go to the Overdogs. Um, but again, in the Explorer, it's a lot closer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the Platybi got that three and a half lead over in the Pioneer Conference. Um, I can go through almost the entire list to get to three and a half games. You got the Overdogs, Wide Loads, Water Bullets, Moonstars, Herbosaurus, Jacks, Sirloins, and Warblers, 
who all fall within that three and a half game I know. Uh, out. So it's knotted up. Really, only the front runners and the nemesis um, look like they might uh, be out of it completely. Front runners with a uh, six and a half game out of the the wild card uh, contention, and the nemesis eight and a half games out. So, yeah, it's bananas. I mean. Both New York teams have winning records and are, are struggling to get to that to those playoffs. So it's going to be good baseball in New York. And we're going to start things off tonight with our game. It's game number 36 of 44. The B-Wolves are in town to play the Wild Pigs. Very close record. B-Wolves are 19 and 16, and the Wild Pigs are 18 and 17. Wild Pigs known as extreme power hitters. That's something we do not have. <laughs> but they also have really good speed and a good bullpen. So uh, it's going to be... It's going to be difficult to get uh, those those initial runs. We're going to start our four-string starter, the left-hander, the southpaw, Deshaun Levon, is going to take the mound here in New York. He throws the ball. He's known most mostly for his accuracy, but he also has fair velocity and junk. He's got a winning record this season, 3-2 and two with a 3.25 ERA and a 1.17 whip. That's right, and backing him up, uh, Hanley Dexteris, the superstar sh uh, shortstop. They got him slated at second base. Um, he came into relieve Freddie Knox in the last game. Um, where he's going to play, we don't know. We've seen him all around, <laughs> all over the diamond. The only place he hasn't played, pitcher and catcher. So there you go. <laughs> but he's got better than average power. He's got very good ability to connect and very good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 451 with 10 home runs. He's also locked in right now. Um, so he's outperforming his career stats. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman, he's got better than average power. He's got good, very good, uh, he's got good ability to connect, but he's got uh, less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 373 with four home runs. He's also locked in, so he's outperforming those stats by a, by a little margin. Buster Biggs in left field with better than average power, better than average ability to connect, and better than average speed. He's hitting 268 with five home runs. Wow, in the lower left there, you can see Hanley Dexter is leading an on-base percentage in sturdy fourth place. Uh, just a moment ago, too, it was also showing that Hanley Dexter um, was fourth in RBIs for this season. Oh. So, really, really, yeah, some league-leading offense here by the Beagles, which is funny. We just can't seem to get it when it's time to score. But uh, the Wild Pigs are going to start their right-hander, Hiro Masano. Hiro is known mostly for his accuracy. He doesn't put much movement on it, and he's not entirely, but doesn't throw very fast. Um, he's got a 1-1 or even record this season, so we'd like to make that a winning one. He's got a 4.50 ERA and a 1.58 whip, so not a, not a bad pitcher for the Wild Pigs. Not their best. No, definitely not their best. Did you say he was their best? No. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> no. I said not a bad um, pitcher, but not their best. Yeah, backing him up, uh, Mash Taters, the first baseman. He's on fire right now, Tom. He's got excellent power, very good ability to connect, and uh, po uh, less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 301 with 10 home runs, and again, he's on fire, so he's going to be danger at the plate. Flash Evans, the right fielder, he's, uh, he's locked in. He's got very good power, but he struggles to connect and very good speed on the base pass, so he can either hit one out or he can cause problems on the base pass. He's hitting 289 with seven home runs, and again, by virtue of being locked in, he's outperforming his stats. Bloop Michaels over at second base with uh, with good power and better than average ability to connect and very good speed. He's hitting 280 with two home runs. All right, this is the only time we're gonna see these two teams play the regular season, right? They only got one one matchup. I believe so, yeah, because yeah. they're the other in the other conference. Other so. conference game. The the starting lineup looks like this from the assistant coach. Hanley Dexter is no big surprise. He'll bat first, and he'll play his native position shortstop. He's also locked in. Right behind him, the locked in first baseman, Sturdy Woodman. He'll bat second. Uh, at, at batting third, I'm sorry, uh, is going to be the designated hitter for tonight's game, Steve Monstour. So Steve will not be catching, but he will be batting. So that's, that's where Steve's actually best. Uh, batting third. Uh, batting cleanup, Ruby Green. She's going to be at third base today for the slumping Bertha Banks. So uh, she's going to bring a, a much needed offensive bat to that position. Uh, hopefully she doesn't have to field too many uh, hard hits though because she's not a great fielder at third base. But uh, it's, it's the hitting we need. Buster Biggs is going to play left field and bat fifth. Right behind him at second base, Freddie Knox, his usual position. He'll bat sixth, batting seventh. Billy LeMoyne out right field, having the best season of his career. Catching tonight, Eliza Peck. She'll be uh, batting eighth. Then batting ninth, Magic Moore out in center field. 
and Deshaun Levon's going to take the mound to throw the four-finger, the two-finger, the slider, and the changer. Are you going to say something? No. Oh, I thought I did that. You, you talk, you say something to me? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like... It's these, these damn interns. Yeah. Get out of here. New York when the City. red light's on, you stay out. Right. <laughs> New York City at night, folks. Yes, sir. Apple Field, a beautiful place to play baseball, a beautiful place to watch baseball. Yes. It's Old our good luck. We get to do both. <clears throat> yeah. All right. <laughs> That'll be enough of <laughs> yeah. Enough about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The wild pig lineup's going to look like this. Boop Michaels is going to lead off designated hitting Brickhouse in center field. Flash Evans in right field. Mash Taters at first base. Roper at short. Horn at third base. Miles at second base. Blings at catching. And Forrest in left field and as the um, wild pigs take to the field a lot of purple in the stands tommy hanley dexter sturdy woodman steve monster are gonna get ready to take a first look at hero misano and his 4.5 era dexter is locked in and fit known as a tough out utility player hitting 451 on the season the first pitch to dexter is outside ball one and the game's underway that one's low ball two two balls and no strikes that's in there for a cold strike. Two and one now to Dexteris. That one's inside. Three and one. Oh. Dexteris bunts down third baseline, and he's going to be in there with a bunted single. So one on. Leadoff batter gets on. I'm going to be honest. That was a mistake. <laughs> but beautifully. Boy, he threw them off there. Here on the side now, looking close to first, throws back to get a Handley back, and it works. Handley in the dirt. Goes back again. He really wants to pick him up. He doesn't know how to go. Hanley on fire. Masano nervous. Keeps going over. Hanley's getting a little bit tired of diving back. There's a blast to center field. It is over the head of everyone. And unfortunately, they didn't all run. They had to wait to see if they could catch it. But um, Hanley Dexterous makes it to third base. Uh, like I said, uh, Sturdy Woodman had to hold up because well, I guess he didn't have to hold up. If Hanley had to hold up. Runners at first and third with no outs and in steps uh, Steve oh, Monstor. What is he the, doing? Uh, he's bunting it into the air. It's going to be a sacrifice. Steve Monstor will bring home Hanley Dexteris from third base. He gets thrown out at first. So Sturdy Woodman at second with one out and in steps Ruby Green. It's like I forgot how to play. Ruby Green, the RBI man, takes the first pitch low. Ball one. Beagles already have a lead here in the top of the first. This is a good way to get started. Two quick balls, Masano having a hard time dialing it in. Number 10 by Masano, right in there. It's a hard liner straight to Miles. He picks up those in first and second out, but that advances Sturdy Woodman to third base. He's in scoring position. With two outs in steps, Buster Biggs, the left fielder. He's neutral and fit, hitting 268, five home runs, 10 RBIs. Sturdy Woodman at third base with two outs now. That one's fouled off. Into the stands along the third base line, strike one. That one's high ball one. One ball, one strike with two outs. Misano throwing his 13th pitch. That's gone. That's deep into right field, and that's <laughs> not going to get caught. And there it is. Buster Biggs with a two-run shot to right field. 389 feet, his sixth home run and 12th RBI of the season. And the Beagles are up 3-0 in the first, huh? Wow, that is a great start. Let's keep, let's keep the foot on the pedal, keep the gas Forward to the engine, Pete. Oh, it's out of here into the glove of the forest in the left field by Freddie Knox. Yes, sir. So the B-Wolves pick up three runs on three hits as we go into the bottom of the first. Luke Michael stocked in Bricktown. And Flash Evans going to take a first look at Deshaun Lavon with his 3.25 ERA. Luke Michaels, the shortstop, neutral fit, hitting 280 with two home runs, 10 RBIs. Deshaun Levon going to get things underway here for the B-Wolves in the bottom of the first. Gets his first signal from Eliza Peck, winds up and throws it. Ball and misses just inside, breaking pitch, ball one, one the count. Big crowd on hand here today, hoping for a different start to this game. Misses that second one, two quick balls to Blue Michaels. He's got 10 RBIs, two home runs. That one's in their first strike, two on the count now to Michaels, the designated hitter for the New York Wild Pigs. Standing in a right-hand batter's box. It's a liner in the center field that's going to be chased down by Magic Moore. He's going to throw it in to hold him at first. And the first Wild Pig gets on with a single. And that's going to bring in our old friend, 
Our old buddy, our chum, stocked the brick house. A uh, great contact hitter, fair power, fast runner at first base. Deshaun LeVon keeping an eye on. There goes the throw to second base. And it's, oh, it's close, but it's not in time. Brickhouse steals second. I'm sorry. Um, what's his name? Steals second. Now he's in scoring position. Sixth pitch. Popped up foul ball. Souvenir. First base line. Upper deck. For a lucky fan. Two strikes now against Brickhouse. Can LeVon put him away? Hard liner to Knox, who tosses it to second. And oh, good, good heads at bat. Base running by the runner there. He gets back. They just get the one out. This brings in the locked in Flash Evans. And the offense is going to go deep because he is a power hitter. Throw to second. He's back in the dirt. He's not going to steal third. Not now. Fans booing. But that's exactly what Deshaun LeVon wanted. He gets his signal, winds up, throws it. Misses up near the hands of Flash Evans. One no the count. One out. Two more to go here in the bottom of the first. Wild Pigs hoping to get back in this quick. Hard liner. Oh, are you kidding me? To a diving Freddie Knox who picks it up, knocks it down, but is not able to hold catch. it. He's not, yeah. able, he's not able to catch for some reason. So advances the runners. They got runners at the corner. Here comes the on fire mashed taters. And they got runners at the corners with one out. Hoping for that double play by the B Wolves. The Fashalavas have to be careful what he throws to the offense. going to go deep just in case. They're hoping for that grounder. Check swing, strike one, lone away. One apiece, one out. Bottom of the first, the Eagles defense has to snap two here. Keep this aggressive team out. There's a hit to right field. Billy the Boink is waving it off. Go home, he go runs home. Up and the throw home, is it gonna make it? Yes, they wow, get him! Get him. Get wow, him. wow, Billy. 41, Pete. Yep. All right, so we're heading into the top of the second. It's still 3-0. B-Wolves, Billy LeBoink, Eliza Pekka, Magic. We're going to get a first look at Hiro Musano, who threw 14 pitches in the first inning, gave up three hits. Billy LeBoink, the right fielder, is neutral and fit, favors the high pitch. He's hitting 400 with one home run, 12 RBIs. Made a huge throw from right field to gun down the runner coming in. First pitch is fouled off into the stands along the third baseline. Second pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. That one's outside as well. Two balls in a strike. That's fouled off into the dugout. Two and two. Misano is tense. That one's low ball three. Full count three and two. There's a smash. That's a line drive into the center field for a clean single. And Billy LeBoink will be standing at first base with nobody out. Well, I'm getting I'm getting LeBoink's autographed after this game. <laughs> He made him throw a whole bunch of pitches, too. He's not going to steal. Here comes Eliza Peck now. 177 on the season. That's one home run. Eight RBIs. First pitch misses to her. One to the count. That's Second one's low and away. Like I said, Bassano's tense. He's having a hard time dialing things in here for the Wild Pigs. Oof. That one's right in there, but she does a late swing. Good break on it. Two on the count. That's that one's high and inside. Ball three. He's got a hitter's pitch coming up for his 25th pitch. Right in there. She swings early, fouls it. Three, two. Another full count situation back to back. Hard oh. little liner to Roper is going to throw to two for one and one for two. Wild Pigs pulling a double play just to get back at us. <laughs> then steps Magic Moore, the center fielder. Sitting 215, two home runs, seven RBIs. Base is empty now with two outs. First pitch from Masano's in there for a called strike. There's a roller to the second baseman, Miles. He'll pick it up, make the throw to Mash Taters for the third out. So one, two, three. In a roundabout way, we're going to head into the bottom of the second. It's still 3 nothing. B-Wolves, Snag Roper, Ronda Horn, and Turbo Miles going to take a first look at LeVon, who threw 12 pitches in the first inning and gave up two hits. Snag Roper, the shortstop's neutral and fit in 275. He's got four home runs, 17 RBIs on the season. Sean LeVon looks in, delivers. <laughs> a called strike to Snag Roper. Rover, the shortstop. Ooh, that one's off the plate outside. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. That one's low ball two. Two balls and a strike. There's a smash to Freddie Knox. He's going to field it that time and make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the first out. One down and then steps Ronda Horn. The third baseman neutral and fit, hitting 228, five home runs, 14 RBIs. 
Rhonda Horn playing third base just like she did for the Freebooters. Pushes that one foul along the third baseline. Strike one. Was, was she Freebooters or was she... Uh, I believe she was. Overdogs, no? Was she Overdogs? Stockton Brickhouse so. was Freebooters, right? Swing and a miss, strike two. Yes. And now Rhonda Horn's in the hole, 0-2. Oh that one's inside ball one. One one ball, two strikes with one out. There's a smash, and Sturdy Woodman's going to pick it up. He's going to flip to Deshaun Levon for the out. Two down, and in steps Turbo Miles. It looks like Rhonda Horn's ego went down on that one. Turbo Miles is locked in and fit, hitting 247 with two home runs, 13 RBIs. Ooh, that first pitch fooled him completely. Strike one. That's in, that's in there for a called second strike, and now Miles is in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. Base is empty. There's a shot. That's going to get into center field for a clean single. And Turbo Miles is on first base with two outs. Ernie Bling is the catcher. is neutral and fit. He favors the high pitch. He's hitting 309, three home runs, 10 RBIs. A really fast runner at first base, known as a stealer. First pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. Throw over to first, and Miles is back. Arnie Blings, the catcher in the batter's box. That pitch is outside. Looking for a steal attempt, so one ball, one strike. Now it's fouled straight back. One and two now to Blings. Levon steps off the rubber, and the runner is back. So one and two to Blings. Swing and a miss, and Arnie Blings goes down on strikes. So we're going to head into the top of the third. B-Wolves, three. Wild Pigs, nothing. Hanley Dexteris, one for one. Sturdy Woodman, one for one. Steve Monstour's first at bat. And Hiro Musano at 28 pitches. Giving up four hits. His ERA has jumped up to a 5.79. Dexteris locked in and fit. One for one with a single. Got everything going in the first inning. He did, he did. First pitch bends back in on the outside corner. Strike one. Dexteris, that one's in there, but it's a slow one, and Dex swings a little early, fouled it off. 0-2, oh, he's got him in a hole. Comes in a little high, good patience. Dex, 1-2 and two to count. That one's a little bit low, fouls it off. Still 1-2, and two. getting that pitch count out. 33 coming in right here. Nope. A little early, fouls it back off the net. Still 1-2. and two. Great contact hitter. That one's low and way in the dirt almost. Even up to a piece. Oh, that one misses inside. Good patience. 3-2, full count. Oh. Hard liner foul, oh, man. Still full. Blow it away, and Masana walks him. Gives him a free base. Yes, sir. So Dexteris once again on first with nobody out. Sturdy Woodman locked in and fit one for one with a single. Or, yeah, single. First pitch is outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's low ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That's outside ball three. Three balls and no strikes to Sturdy Woodman. That's ball four. And Musano has walked the first two batters in this inning. So the base is now runners at first and second with nobody out. And in steps Steve Monstour. Yeah, Steve Monstour's got power against right-handers. Tough day for Musano here. High and inside misses ball one. He really having a hard time getting the strikes on. No outs to, ooh, that was a home run swing, but it was way too early. Oh, one apiece. Oh, another early swing. He's got him on that changeup. <laughs> one and two, 45th pitch. Oh, and he fans him on three straight pitches. Wow. Didn't even touch the ball. Never touched the ball. Yeah. Ruby Green, the first baseman, neutral and fit, RB, RBI man. One out with uh, runners at first and second. Green 0 for 1 today. First pitch is outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's outside, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Masano up to 47, make it 48 pitches. That's low, outside ball three. Three and oh to Ruby Green. Throw back to second, and uh, Dexteris is back. Three balls and no strikes. That catches the outside corner for called strike. Three balls and one strike out of Ruby Green. That's ball four. Musano has walked the bases loaded and in steps Buster Biggs, who's one for one with a home run today. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, this is this is not where the Wild Pigs want to be right now. And it's a hard liner straight to Double Miles. Play. They're going to yeah. get two of them. 
but the Beowulfs are getting... Oh, no! It's, it's oh, in this side. Oh. <laughs> so we're going into the bottom of the third. It's Beowulfs 3, Wild Pigs nothing. Axel Forrest, Blue Michaels, and Stockton Brickhouse going to face off against Deshaun Levan. Alexa, uh, Axel Forrest, neutral and fit. He's hitting 273 with three home runs, 11 RBIs. He is two. First pitch. This is a little bit high. Ball one. One roll the count to Forrest. Known as a stealer if he gets on. Fouls that one back off the wall. And we've even things up at one apiece. Number 21 winds up. Throws. That one fades inside. Misses. Ball two. Two and one the count to Axel Forrest. Pop up into the infield. Freddie Knox is looking up into the lights. He. Oh. Jeez. He couldn't find it to the last second. But he comes up and makes that catch. That would have been a huge embarrassment. Blue Michaels now, 286, two home runs, 10 RBIs. Right hand batter's box, bouncing his step. Does not swing at the first pitch, which is a little high. Ball one, one over count. Sean Lamont throws his second pitch to him. Now it's low and away, and that makes it different strike. Safety off now for Blue Michaels. Power hitter for the New York Wild Pigs. Hard hit. Hanley Dex jumping, cannot grab it. And that's going to go all the way back to the wall. Magic Moore's going to throw it into the cutoff, but he's going to get a stand-up double, does Michaels. And uh, again, with the Wild Pigs are looking for on offense, and he's followed by Stockton Brickhouse, who can bring him in. He's 0 for 1 in the night thus far. He's got four long balls. First pitch misses outside. One of the kind of fast runner at second base. Probably won't steal third, but he can make it home to the outfield. 2-0. and Little Ty Mark goes to second base. Gets him in the dirt. Gets him dirty. Pitch number 37 here at the bottom of the third. Inside quarter strike one. Two on the count. One out. Beeble's three nothing. Hard foul ball into his own dugout. Nobody flinched. Two and two. Oh, he does not chase that one low. And now we got a full count for the 40th pitch by Deshaun LeVon in the third inning. He's looking for the right one. There goes the throw, and it's a hard hit into center field. Magic Moore is going to get that in. The run's going to come in the way before. And the Wild Pigs are on the board now. It's 3 1. He's followed by the locked in Flash Evans, who's one for one the single. <clears throat> got an outfield fading deep. Hard smash, third baseline. Holy cats. All on the count. So a hard smash, first baseline. It's going to be hit hard wherever it's hit. 0-2, oh, now that one misses outside, 1-2. and two. They want that ground ball to get that double play. That's a, that's another ball, 2-2. Two two. Comes high on that one, 3-2, and two, full count. Sean LeVon looking a little tense now. There's a, oh, a, another hit in the right field. And it's another single to beat the uh, Wild Pigs. You're getting, getting the batters on. And it's Mash Tater's turn. He's 0-1, but he's locked in. And he's a massive power hitter, so the outfield's going to go deep for him as well. Oh, first pitch brushes it back off the plate. Taters did not like. No likey. He hits that one right past the mound into center field. Magic Moore comes up. The throw to second. The turn throw to home. It's not in time. And it's now a one-run ball game. And the, the Wild Pigs pick up two. And there's still just one out. With the runner at first. They're hoping for that double play still to get out of this without any more runs. The pressure up now. Wild Pigs looking to tie it. That one's hit. Foul, first base line souvenir. One apiece, with one out. There goes the run, there's a pop up. Billy LaPointe's gotta come way up for it. He's waving it off, throwing home. He's not gonna come in. And there's two down, we just need one more, Pete. Deshaun Levan just needs one more. It's Rhonda Horn now, 0 for 1 in tenths. First pitch to Horn's in the first strike. Oh, and the count, pressure's still up here as the Wild Pigs threatening to tie this thing. Two quick strikes and 0-2, he's got her to hold. Two tenth, a tense batter and a tense pitch. We'll see who wins. Hard foul back off the net. 0-2 the count, he's gotta be careful. 55th pitch by Deshaun Levine coming right now. Popped up in the center field, Magic Moore is gonna have to run up. Hanley Dexteris comes out to get it and end the side, Pete. So we're heading into the top of the fourth. Beowulf's three runs on four hits. Wild Pigs two runs on seven hits. Freddie Knox 0 for 1. Billy LeBoink 1 for 1. Eliza Peck 0 for 1. Masano at 51 pitches with a strikeout, giving up three walks, four hits. Freddie Knox is tense, but Freddie's 0 for 1 today. Masano.
Asano looks in, delivers, or called strike. That's his 52nd pitch, strike one. That one's high ball one. One ball, one strike down to Freddie Knox. There's a shot, and that's out of here. That's a home run. Yes. The second for the B Wolves today. That makes it 4 2. B Wolves out traveled 366 feet. That's his uh, fourth home run. All right, way to go, boy. Knox, Knox has had such a draw. That should, that should relieve the tension. <laughs> Get him back in here. He's usually a good hitter. Now it's uh, Billy Loink's turn. He's one for one. B Wolves added to the lead, made it 4 2. Diving grab by Miles, who dives to his right at second base to make that line drive catch. <laughs> Eliza Peck, the catcher, steps in. She's hitting 175, not with nobody out. First pitch is in there for called strike, strike one. That's ripped foul along third baseline. 0-2 oh now to Peck. That one's low ball one. One ball, two strikes to Eliza Peck, the catcher. That one's in the air, in the center field. It's a high pop-up, but center fielder Brickout's going to get under it and make the catch for the second out. Two down, and then steps Magic Moore. All right, people, let's just keep this thing going. Magic Moore 0 for 1 on the night. Hoping to go 1 for one for 2. First pitch is misses a little bit low. Ball 1. Good eye there, Magic Moore. 61st pitch. And then for a strike, we do things up at 1 apiece. Two outs, top of the fourth. 4-2, Beebles. That one misses inside. He's leaning into it. 2-1. and one. Power hit to right field. That's going to be a souvenir way down the first baseline. Two, two, and two. Oh, and he fans him high and inside. Another K from the sun. <laughs> so we're going into the bottom of the fourth. It's Buell's picks Turbo Miles, Ernie Blings, and Axel faced a Sean Levano Stone 55 pitches. Miles one for one. Turbo Miles, the second baseman's locked in and fit. Known as the Steeler, he's one for one with a single today. Also stole a base. Levon tense. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick that up, make the throw to first for the first out. One down and in steps Arnie Blings, the catcher. He's neutral and fit. Favors the high pitch. He's 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. One down, nobody on in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch is outside. Ball one. That one's in there for called strike. One ball, one strike with one out. That one's fouled straight back, and now Arnie Blings is behind in the count. One and two. Swing and a miss, and Arnie Blings goes down on strikes. <laughs> two outs, and in steps Axel Force, the left fielder, neutral and fit. That one's low, ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He'll pick that up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman. Three up, three down. And we're heading into the top of the fifth. B-Wolves four, Wild Pigs two. Hanley Dexterous one for one with a walk. Sturdy Woodman one for one with a walk. Steve Monstor 0 for one with a strikeout. Masano at 64 pitches. Giving up, he's got two strikeouts, giving up three walks and five hits. Dexterous is locked in and fit. He's one for one with a single and a walk today. Masano looks in, delivers his 65th pitch high. Ball one. One ball and no strikes now. That's in it for called strike. One and one to Henley Dexterous. That catches the inside corner for called second. One ball, two strikes. Tough out. That one's inside ball two. Two and two to Dexteras. That one's way outside ball three. Full count now to Hanley Dexteras. Three balls and two strikes. And there's a roller to the shortstop, Roper. He'll pick it up, make a quick throw to Taters, and get Dexteras for the first out. So one down. Sturdy Woodman one for one with a single to walk. I don't know how deep we're going to see Masano go. He's, he's at, at 70 pitches already here. Buell's doing a good job making him throw. 90 miles an hour inside, though. Misses ball one. We'll know the count to Woodman. That one somehow makes it in for a strike, one apiece. That's right in the zone, but it gets under a little bit. That's a fly ball in the left field, waving that off. There's Forrest for that second out. Steve Monstour, the catcher's tense, but Fitty's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's 0 for 1 today with an RBI. Started the game with a sacrifice bunt that brought Dexterous in for the first uh, for the first run. That one's high into the air. In the left center, the left fielder's calling everybody off, and Forrest makes the catch for the third out. So we're going to head into the bottom of the fifth. 
Still 4-2 B-Wolves. Blue Michaels, 2 for 2 of the double. Stockton Brickhouse, 1 for 2. And Flash Evans, 2 for 2. Levon at 62 pitches with 2 strikeouts, giving up 7 hits. His ERA is up to 3.34. Blue Michaels up now. He's 2 for 2 with a double and a single. So Michaels a dangerous hitter. Deshaun Levon, wise to be wary. Throws the first pitch break pitch. He makes it in for a strike. Now the safety's off. Full with the count. Pressure down here. Bottom of the fifth. Middle of the game. Anticipated that one. Pushes it foul though on the first base line. Souvenir. 0-2. Deshaun has him in a hole. With the 65th pitch, he's going to try to put him away here. Here's the delivery. Oh. Let that one get away. That skips off the dirt and away from Eliza Peck. 1-2 the count now. To Luke Michaels. Well, that one sails up a little bit high. Never really a chance of being a strike. That's even a two apiece. Looking for the right pitch. Throws it. Makes the outside corner. It's debated by Michaels, but the ump gets the final call. Nice K. And it's stop. Stalked in Brickhouse. <laughs> and it's the Canadian way of saying stalked in. He's 215, four home runs, 18 RBIs. Great contact here. We knew Stockton down in Fort Lauderdale. He's doing well up here in New York as well. Checks on that first one, but it misses. Ball one. One on the count to Brick House. Smash to left field. Back. It's wow. That's five rows back. Stockton Brick House has done what he can to get on the board. That was a 382 foot home run. It's his fifth of the season and 19th RBI. And he brings the Wild Pigs back within two runs, I believe. And now it's Flash Evans, two for two, two singles. He's hoping to tie the game with one swing of the bat. Uh, misses high and inside. The outfield's going to go deep for the Flash man. Hard little hit, but it's a roller back to the mound. But Sean Levant picks it up, throws it to first. Two down. One more to go. He got in, but he got to get past the locked in mash. Taters is one for two with a single and an RBI. An outfield fade back. Josh Allen makes an adjustment. Gets a signal from Peck. Mines up. Throws it. Jams him high and up inside. Fouls it back off the wall. Oh, on the count. Crowd quiet now. Check swing strike two. He's got him in a good place. 74th pitch. Let's see what hell comes here. Mash Taters chewing gum. Kicking butt. Swinging him at strike three. He chased that one low and away. Way to come back, Deshaun. So we're heading into the top of the six. Bewels four. Wild Pigs three. Ruby Green over. Buster Biggs one for two with a home run. Freddie Knox one for two with a home run. Hero Moose pitches two strikeouts, three walks, giving up five hits. Ruby Green is neutral in pitch. She's known as an RBI man, but she's 0 for 1 today with a walk. She is. Fans on their feet just starting to sit down. That one misses a little bit high. Ball one. You could, you could almost assume that first pitch is going to be a ball. And the second one. Two quick balls to Ruby Green. 77 pitches right in there. It's a liner straight to Roper. Picks it up off the shoelaces at shortstops. Buster Biggs. Buster Biggs, the left fielder, is neutral and fit. One for two with a home run, two RBIs. Hero Masano is going to take a seat. That'll be the end of the day for him in the top of the sixth. Alana Lantana, the relief pitcher, will come in. She's Lantana with a 3.31 ERA, 1.10 whip, 40 strikeouts. He's locked. She's locked in and fit. She's got better than average velocity. She's got uh, very good junk, very good accuracy. She's fully rested. She's got a four-seam fastball. A cut fastball and a slider. So one out, nobody on for Buster Biggs. And the first pitch from Lantana is in there for called strike, strike one. Oh. That's in there for called second. 0-2 oh to Buster Biggs. There's a rocket in the center field for a clean single. So one on with one out. <laughs> and her mojo goes down. <laughs> Lantana's got some, she's got some pepper on it. One for two is uh, Freddie Knox. He's got a home run on his own. RBI. He's got a fast, faster than average runner at first base. First pitch misses low. Maybe he's distracting her. She's looking over at first. Second pitch up high. Ball two. Two and oh to Freddie Knox. Pressure up. That one's in it for strike. Two and one. Checks in another third and three and one. Hitter's pitch. That's right to him. It hits a deep. Nope. Scott going anywhere. But it's going to be <laughs> caught in center field. Freddie Knox coming back after that second out. We're not done yet, Pete. I still, get, I still get to I'm bat. pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Billy LeBoy steps in. Neutral and fit. Favors the high pitch. He's one for two with a single. Runner at first base with two outs. Throw over to first, and the runner is back. It's like she knows he's running. 
<laughs> yep. I don't run anymore because there's I can't steal. I can't do anything in this game, actually. There's a roller to the third baseman. Third baseman Ronda Horn will pick it up and make the throw to Tatis for the third out. So we're heading into the bottom of the sixth. Still B-Wolves 4, Wild Pigs 3, Snag Roper 0 for 2, Ronda Horn 0 for 2, Turbo Miles 1 for 2, Levon at 74 pitches with 4 strikeouts, giving up 8 hits. ZRA's at a 3.43. Snag Roper, the shortstop's neutral, but he's 0 for 2 today. Roper playing shortstop for the Wild Pigs. The first pitch from Levon is in there for called strike, strike 1. That's in there for called second strike. No balls, two <laughs> strikes with no outs. Deshaun Levon at 77 pitches. Oh. oh, nice catch. And it's just like Tommy had said, we don't want Ruby Green fielding too many balls. <laughs> she should have had that one. She was able to knock it down. Otherwise, it might have got in the corner and led to extra bases. But Ooh. they're going to pull Snag Roper and bring in a pinch runner, um, Carly Bologna. Ballone, Ballone, Carly Ballone. Uh, she's uh, got one stolen base. She's uh, hitting 367 on the season with no home runs. She's neutral in fit. She's got uh, about average power, but she struggles to make contact. But she is she has very good speed on the base fest. She's known as a utility player. So pinch runner over at first base as Rhonda Horn steps into the box. Score is 4-3 in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch to Ronda Horn is low, ball one. And the throw. Yes. And they got her. They got her. All right, Eliza Pack <laughs> knew it was coming, but the ball, uh, the pitch was a ball. So two balls and no strikes to Ronda Horn. Base is empty. That's in it for called strike, strike one. Two balls and a strike with one out. What a throw by Eliza Pack. <laughs> yeah. That's inside. That's inside ball three. Three balls and a strike. That's the third runner that Eliza Peck has gunned down this year. There's a roller just in front of home plate. Eliza Peck will get up, and she's she's D, she's D all over. She's D. <laughs> she's just playing D. Everybody come in. We're going to let Eliza Peck, Peck do the whole thing. So two outs now, and in steps Turbo Miles, the second baseman. He's locked in and fit. Miles is uh one for two of the single. He fouls that one off into the stands along the first baseline. That catches the outside corner. And now Miles finds himself in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. There's a roller straight back. Foul. So Miles will get another pitch. There's a line drive to Freddie Knox in shallow right field. He makes the catch. So as we head into the top of the seventh, the B-Wolves, four runs on six hits. The Wild Pigs, three runs on nine hits. Eliza Pack, 0 for 2. Magic Moore, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And Handy Dexter is 1 for 2 with a walk. Eliza Peck, the catcher's neutral. And Fitch is 0 for 2, hitting 173 with a home run, eight RBIs. All right, so Carly Bologna is going to get pulled. And they're going to bring in Wally Bacon to play second base. Bacon with no errors, hitting 160 on the season with no home runs. He's neutral and fit. He's got very good speed, um, less than average fielding, and a poor arm. <laughs> He's getting getting loose out there. First pitch in there, outside corner, strike one. Lionel Antano looking good. She gets a grounder to Bacon. He gets his first shot of the game, picks it up, throws the first. Oh, no. The center fielder. Magic Moore, the center fielder's neutral and fit. Good connection versus left-handed pitching. He's 0 for 2 today. Moore playing center field for the B-Wolves. Takes the first pitch for called strike. Strike one. A line drive to Miles. He'll pick it up off the first hop. Make the throw to first for the second out. Two down. Boy, the B-Wolves really need to put together some more offense here. They only have a one-point lead. And it's tenuous. One and two on the night is Dexterous. It's a hard liner straight to Miles. It's like a like deja vu. Throws it over the first. Three up, three down. Yep. We're going into the bottom of the seventh with a tenuous one-run lead. B-Wolves four, Wild Pigs three. Arnie Blings 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Axel Forrest 0 for 2. And Blue Michaels 2 for 3 with a double and a strikeout. Levon. Arnie Blings is tense but fit. And he's out. Ernie Blinks is going to have a seat. They're going to make it some, some adjustments. They really want this win. They're vying for the playoffs. So they're going to bring in uh, Aiden Runette 
to catch. He's gonna he's gonna pinch hit. He's gonna change positions. Aiden Runette is uh, to hitting 281 on the season. Five home runs, 22 RBIs. He's a good. He's a solid power and contact hitter with good speed. I don't know why he didn't start the game, but uh, here he is, standing in the right hand. Oh, because he's not quite 100 percent physically. Sean Labonte, 86 pitches, 87 right in there. It's a line drive into right field. Oh, and Buster Biggs dives but cannot quite get it. He was a little late on the dive. And they're going to start things off with a stand-up double. Oh, and they're threatening already with a runner in scoring position. Axel Forrest now 0 for 2. Oh, and they're going to pull Runette just like that. And they're going to bring in Man and Moon who's fast. So he could score on an outfield single. He's got one stolen base this season, 200, 241 average, one home run. And, uh, yeah, it's an interesting situation here. Deshaun Levan losing a little bit on stuff, and it looks like maybe the skipper's going to give him the towel, and they're going to bring in the reliever, try and shake things up here a bit as well for us. So Deshaun's going to have a seat after a pretty good pretty good outing today. And uh, with the pressure up, uh, Case Barajas is going to take them out. He's going to climb on top. The B minus rank number 20 has got a 9.0 ERA. He's still working on that one. He's got a 1.18 whip, which is good, and 29 strikeouts. He's known mostly for his velocity, but he's also accurate and has some junk. He throws the forefinger, and he mixes it up with the slider and the changeup. He's going to work cut out from here to the bottom of the seventh with a runner in scoring position, no outs. He goes over to get him dirty and assert his authority. Now he's got to strike someone out here. First pitch to Axel Force is in there for strike. Oh, on the count. The second pitch gets a signal from Peck. Nods. Winds up throws. Breaking pitch. Low and away. Nice. Two quick strikes. Goes back to second. Make sure the runner's not going anywhere. 0-2. Fans don't like it, but that's his job. Third pitch by Barajas. Coming right now. Oh, backs Forrest off the plate. Left hand batter's box. See who follows that with a one and two pitch. Swinging him a strike three outside corner. That's exactly what we needed from Case Barajas. He's looking good so far. And now he's facing the formidable Blue Michaels. There's two for three, the double. Fans on their feet now. The pressure way up. They know what Michaels can do. First pitch glides in there for a strike. Oh, and the count. That sits a lot of fans back down. Goes to second again. You keep the runner close. Oh, and run with one out. Double play is not really an option. Oh, breaking pitch right in for a strike. Oh, and two. And Brahas now in control. Quarterback in for the mound. Ooh, backs him off the plate again there. Right hand batter's box. One and two now. Eighth pitch by Brahas. Looking in. Low and away. Hits a grounder. Knox picks it up. They're going to be able to get him at first for that second out. The runner advances to third. So you got a runner 90 feet from, from tying this thing up. Stock to break us two for three, the home run, and some other things. But Brahas needs just that one more out. Brickhouse not super fast, so they can get him on a grounder. First pitch misses, load inside. Ball one, one of the count. Or a fly ball. But just not a home run. <laughs> that one misses high. 2 0 oh to Stockton Brickhouse. Breaking pitch hit hard. Freddie Knox dives, is not going to make it. Oh, and Magic Moore can't quite get it. He goes past it. He's going to throw it into the cutoff. And then he's going to get a stand-up double and ties the ball game. And that brings in Flash Evans now. Who's also locked in. Power header two for three. Outfield going deep. Got to run at second base. Two outs. We need one more. Brahas needs to clamp down here. Owen won the count to Evans. Second pitch fouled back. Owen two. He wants to close this inning out. He gets beat. Oh, he hits a hard to left field. It's going back. Oh, it's back four or five rows. Oh, that was the wrong. Oh, boy. He was starting off so strong. That's a home run to left field. It's flashing his eighth home run, 26th RBI of the season. And just like that, the Wild Pigs take a commanding two run lead. And in comes Mash Taters, who's also locked in now. The only good news being the bases are clear. <laughs> First pitch is a strike, 0 oh, 1 to Taters. Barajas now tense. Freddie Knox picks that one up off the ground, throws it to first, and closes out the side. Yep. And now it's 6 uh, 4 Wild Pigs. Sturdy Woodman, 1 for 2 with a walk. Steve Monstour, 0 oh, for 2 with a strikeout. Ruby Green, 0 oh, for 2 with a walk. 
Montana at 15 pitches gave up one hit. Sturdy Woodman's locked in at 50. one for two with a single and a walk. Now in at uh, catcher Flash Evans down at right field, Mannion Moon. First pitch to Sturdy Woodman's down, ball one. That one's down, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That's down, ball three. Three and oh to Sturdy Woodman. Ball four, and Sturdy Woodman will walk. So a leadoff walk for Sturdy Woodman. All right, now Steve Monsurlo, he's tense, 0 for 2. A home run to tie this game up. First pitch right in there for a strike, going 95 miles an hour. <laughs> Pressure up now. She's going yep. right at him, strike. two quick strikes. Got him in a hole, going to pour dirt on him. No, nope, he he's going to pop up, up weekly. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Wally Bacon's going to pull that one in for the first out. One out, Sturdy Woodman still at first base. Ruby Green, the first baseman, steps in. She's neutral and fit, known as an RBI man. She's two today with a walk. Sturdy Woodman does not have a lot of speed at first base. That's in there for called strike, strike one. That's lifted into uh, center field. Sturdy Woodman's gonna hang up at first base. So two outs now, and in steps. Buster Biggs. Two for three with a home run single, two RBIs. It would be a great day to get two home runs, wouldn't it, Buster? Tie this thing up, carry out of here on my shoulders. <laughs> First pitch right in for strike, going to the couch. She goes right at him. She's a shark. Second pitch fouls back off the wall. She's in control. <laughs> She's going to shut him down on number 27. Outside corner, he doesn't like it, but it's a three-pitch strikeout. <laughs> We're going into the bottom of the eighth. It's 6-4 uh, Wild Pigs. Wally Bacon, Rhonda Horn, and Turbo Miles going to face off against Case Barajas, who gave up, six, who pitched through 16 pitches, gave, uh, gave up a push down, whatever. <laughs> Wally Bacon, the second baseman, neutral and fit. <laughs> Someone sounds dejected here. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Strike one. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He'll pick it up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman, and get Wally Bacon. So one down and in steps Rhonda Horn. She's tense but fit. 0 for 3 today. One out, base is empty for Horn. Takes the first pitch, low ball one. One ball, no strike. Tense pitcher and a tense batter. <laughs> Probably a tense catcher and a tense umpire. That one's yeah. inside ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That's in it for called strike two and one now to Rhonda Horn. That's in it for called second strike. So the count is evened up now. Two balls, two strikes with one out. Swing and a miss, strike three. And down goes Rhonda Horn. In steps Turbo Miles, the second baseman. Shortstop, I guess, locked in and fit one for three with a single. Two outs and nobody on for Miles. Miles also has a, st a stolen base today. First pitch is low, ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. He's going to pick it up, and he's going to flip it to Case Barajas for the third out. Barajas' ego goes up, so we're going into the ninth inning. B-Wolves down by two. It's Wild Pig six, B-Wolves four. Freddie Knox one for three with a home run. Billy LeBoink one for three and Eliza Peck 0 for three. Buell's got to get two here to tie three to take the lead. Freddie Knox, the second baseman, takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. Uh, second pitch is outside. Ball one. One and one. That's outside. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. There's a smash that's in the center field. Unfortunately, it doesn't have enough power, so Brickhouse is going to be able to camp out underneath and make the catch for the first out. One down. Billy LeMoyne's turn. One for three for the single. Hoping to go two for four. And uh, Lantana at 32nd pitch coming in right there. Hard hit third baseline. Boy, straighten that thing out. That's a home run. Oh, on the count. Pressure up. Yeah, but he won't. <laughs> right inside. Jim's back going two. She can strike him out. Yes. Right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> two outs and in steps Eliza Peck the catcher she's 0 for 3 today two outs nobody out there's a smash that's getting into center field Brickhouse will make the catch game's over B-Wolves lose again oh my gosh 
Uh, it, you know, it started so well. It felt like they were in control for so much of it. And the, I mean, you got to hand it to the, the wild pigs. They did not go away. They, they got... They got angry when they and they fought hard. What a what a what a win there. I mean the B will start off big first inning. Three zip. You think they got that thing all buttoned up. They give they have two. Wild pigs take two in the third to get within one. B wolves jump out again. Make it four two in the fourth. They answer quickly. But the wild pigs answer quickly, come back within one, and then things fell apart in the seventh inning there. Big three run <coughs> inning. Wild pigs jumped out the lead and never looked back. Beebles couldn't finish it off in the ninth. They went uh, one, two, three, four, what five straight innings without a without a run. <clears throat> Beebles score four runs and six hits. Wild Pigs score six runs of twelve. The uh, Handley deck stares. The Handley comes in, goes one for three, crosses the plate once, uh, gets walked as well. Stuart Whitman one for two, also crosses the plate once, gets walked twice. Um, Steve Monstour zero oh, for three. Uh, big big disappointment for Steve today. He gets an RBI though, uh, and a K. So I'm not. I can't remember how that worked. I think it was it was a it was a sack bunt. Start him off. Ruby. Yeah, Duke. he sacrificed bunt in the first yeah. inning. I don't think he's had a hit. You know, since that that um, six game losing streak. Yeah. He he hasn't ha he hasn't had a hit since. Which is <laughs> which is funny because his average is 254. He should he should get yeah. on base one out of every four times, but. Um, <clears throat> Ruby Green 0 for 3 gets walked once uh, Buster Biggs 2 for 4 you can read one run in place he gets that home run it's been a long time for him so good to see a home run he gets 2 RBIs struck out once uh, Freddie Knox goes 1 for 4 gets a home run as well another Freddie with another long drought uh, gets that RBI Billy LeBoink goes 1 for 4 not a bad night for Billy K's once Eliza Peck didn't show up offensively whatsoever but had a great day at the plate uh, behind the plate um but was a non-factor in front. Magic Morrow for three, another bad night for him. He gets a K as well. And for the Wild Pigs, Boop Michaels goes two for four, scored a run, got once. Brickhouse goes three for four, scored three runs. Yeah. He hit a home run, had three RBIs. So not only did he score three, but he's also drove in three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Flash Evans, three for four, with the East run, hit a home run, and had two RBIs. Then you get into... Uh, Mash Taters, who came in here on fire, and he only went one for four. He did have an RBI, but he struck out once as well. Uh, Roper one for three. Bologna didn't have any, uh, didn't have an at bat. Wally Bacon went 0 for one. Uh, Ronda strikeout. Uh, Miles one for four. Uh, Arnie Blanks 0 for two with two strikeouts. <laughs> they pulled him rather quickly, though. Yeah. Uh, Ronette, he, uh, Ronette goes one for one, and uh, Mannion moves. doesn't have an official at bat, but he scored a run. So I don't know if he walked or he must have walked, right? So it's not yeah. an official at bat. And then Forrest, uh, uh, she goes 0 for three. So, yeah. well, pitching the um, Deshaun Levine comes out, throws six innings, gives up ten hits, four earned runs, uh, gets four strikeouts, one home run, not a. Not his best performance, not his worst. His ERA rests at 3.52. He still has a winning record at 3 and 2, so he's got that with him. Case Barajas unfortunately gets saddled with the loss. He comes in those two innings, gives up two hits, two earned runs. That was the difference in the game. Uh, he gets two strikeouts in that short amount of time, gives up one home run. His ERA stays at a 9, and he's now 1 4 and 3 on the season. And then uh, Misano comes in, pitches five in the third innings, gives up five hits, four earned runs. He walked three, struck out two, gave up two home runs. His ERA jumped up to a 5.19. His record remains one and one. And then in comes Lantana. Lantana pitched three and two-thirds innings. She only gave up one hit. She walked one. She struck out two. Her ERA is at uh, 3.0, and her record improves to two wins and three slay saves. Yeah, good record for Lantana. Great win there. Three stars of the game. The first star, Stockton Brickhouse. The Wild Pig center fielder goes three for four with a home run, a double, three RBIs, and he scored three runs. Yeah, we saw we saw him in a lot of stars of the game when we were down in Florida. It's a, big, a good acquisition for the Pigs uh, making their bid for the playoffs. The B-plus ranked right fielder, number 16, Flash Evans, has got the second star. He goes three for four today with a home run, two RBIs, and scored a run once himself. And then the third star of the game, the only B-Wolf to make the list, uh, Buster Biggs, the left fielder, with two, goes two for four, hits a home run, 
uh, has two RBIs and scores a run himself. Mm -hmm. Tommy G with five hits, two home runs, four RBIs, three strikeouts, a contribution to 73%. PJ got one hit. <laughs> One great catch. He only struck out three people. He might as well stay home. It's a contribution for twenty-seven percent. I've never seen such. I, I mean, I such can't, a can't get what. That's got to be your worst performance ever. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm getting tired of it. It's just freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we, okay. Light up. It's, it's, it's a little funny, <laughs> right? I oh, I know. I'm sorry. Um, it, well, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's just a, uh, yeah. It was, no, it's just, I mean, like uh, I say, it's it's almost, I mean, it's almost comical in the fact that you can set your watch by it. It's just, <laughs> even when I hit the ball well, it, it's a line drive and a leaping catch by the short. I mean, I, I can't get nothing going. I can't get anything going. <laughs> well, the good just, thing is, as far as trends go, you usually don't string a whole bunch of those together. So the next game, you're going to uh, be carrying me. Um I don't know. I haven't had. I haven't really had a good game all season. So, I mean, uh, well, I can't remember. The, I can't even remember the last time I hit a home run. And I, I mean, I, I hit the ball hard. I hit it. Yeah. It just. Yeah. It Very just doesn't. I, <laughs> just doesn't go anywhere. I can't get them to freaking go over the. I can't. I don't know what it is. I, oh. It's almost like. I mean, we've talked about it before with these sports games. Is like yeah. you know, if you get yourself into a rut. Yeah. It's you just can't get out of it. It just yeah. doesn't matter, you know. What I mean? you, yeah. you you literally will have to turn the ego down to five and have like three or four games where you just blow everybody out just to get back to normal. Because this, I, but it's nuts. It's crazy how poor I'm playing. I just yeah. don't get it. Yeah, well, and it's it is getting and and you're right. It's just a game. It's just a game. But by the same token, twice a week I have to go through this, and it's just like <laughs> God. It's so freaking <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> You know, you 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 can play. Is you there in the playoffs? We're, we're we're all we're cooking with gas. So anyway, the good news is we're playing the Outlaws <laughs> in California in their building. <laughs> we're gonna get pummeled. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <coughs> we could take it. What what a game that would be to um to win. Now I mean, this first standings, we're still first place. Yeah, we got a half game lead. Uh, you know, there's, there's several other games that are going to be played before that, but uh, you know, our our division's not the toughest division. <clears throat> the Outlaws are in first place. I think the second best record in baseball. They're 23 and 13, with a plus 54 run differential. Yeah, we're 19 17 with a zero. We're we're a net even. Oh my gosh! Well, that'll be. Well, although we're going in, and this is the other thing too, is I, I don't pitch well with Deshaun Levant. I mean, yeah. every one of the innings where they scored was I was pitching, and I just, <laughs> I mean, I just I couldn't. He couldn't hit anything. He couldn't hit the reticle for to save his life. And then, and so they're they're hitting everything I throw, and then you go up there and you're throwing it, and they don't even swing at it, and it's like what the. F Strike one, strike two. I'm, Come on, I'm, I can't get anything past him without them hitting it, and he's he's throwing the ball. He's literally rolling the ball past them, and they're just like, oh, I, can't, I can't don't see it. <laughs> we could we could we could do this offline. I mean, this might be funny for people, but <laughs> I noticed I'm throwing and strike two. <laughs> yeah, Tom's making it look easy. <laughs> yeah, I I get him to strike two, and they fall out, fall fall off everything, even stuff I was throwing massively out of the strike zone. Yeah, that's funny. I was intentionally trying to miss, and they'd still foul it off. And you're like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, there, was some, there was some good stuff. That that throw out by Peck. Let's, let's yeah. think about that as we sign off. <laughs> All right. That was well, a good one. Yeah, so we're going to head out to California. We got, uh, so yeah, New York to California. We're still on the road. I think we do better on the road anyway. We're going to be playing. That's a big, that's a game of the week thing. Two first place teams. One decidedly much better, so it would be a nice upset. Before we come home, we got two straight against the Bullets, so that's that's real big, you know. Yeah, yeah. And the Water Bullets have two games: one against the Sawtees, one against the Sirloins. Hopefully, we'll get a little help that way. Um, quite a bit of news, though, after this last yeah, game. And real quick in the lower left there: Dexteras, Leboink, and Woodman. We have three of the top five batting averages. Right? I mean, 
thanks to you. I'm not. I got one hit. It's not me. All right, let's let's go to the newsroom. What's what's coming across the ticker? Bill uh, Bull Hackett lowered his asking salary. He was asking six point seven, but he'll be happy to take six point three. All right, we should. Uh, we got to move here. Sammy Shigatani gets signed on to the Crocodiles. Uh, I think Sammy used to play for the Wildcats. I believe. Should be replacing, replacing Andre Candela. Wow, Andre Candela has been with them since the start, and he's a good he's a good player. B plus ranked, thirty seven year old second base infielder Candela has got good power, contact, speed. He's mostly known for his feeling. He's a solid second base infielder. He's got bad jumps, but you know he's not gonna steal. No big, no big shakes. He was making eight point six billion dollars. He's gonna be a free agent now. And uh, Sammy Shigatani found a home in Houston. She, uh, what is she? Well, they gained an arm. <laughs> the C plus rank, done mostly for fielding. Uh, the thirty-five-year-old second base, third base woman. She'll make two point three million dollars to wear the crocodile jersey. Hammer along ball low was asked uh, lowers did lowered his asking salary from uh, eleven point one to ten point nine million dollars so the a minus 41 year old right fielder uh first base uh outfielder would be a good pickup i mean at 10.9 that's not a bad deal to bring him yeah. on to your team yeah hito moon shot has also lowered his asking salary the 34 year old third base first baseman a rank is comes from 19.2 all the way down to 18.8 million so if you got an extra 18 and 18.8 you can pick him up uh-huh. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing some of these players now that we're kind of coming down to the final days to start dropping their salaries like massively. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Just trying to get caught up. Uh, Larry Cunningham has also uh, lowered his asking salary. The 26-year-old starting pitcher, relief pitcher, B ranked overall was asking 6.6. He only dropped uh, 100,000. He dropped down to 6.5 million dollars to uh, hopefully catch on with the team. Uh, Deshaun Lamont, player development for Deshaun Lamont, he threw the spitball, new training opportunity. That would give him, for $1.2 million, that would give him 6 on his jog, possibly 14, 2 on his accuracy, and a 10% chance to gain ball prone. <laughs> um, the news coming out of the Blowfish is that Grunt Manley oh. has offended a Blowfish coach and was replaced by Jules Bergman. Grunt Manley, the 28-year-old First base, third baseman, overall A ranked with 70 power, 84 connectivity, 72 speed, 68 fielding, 66 arm. He's known as an RBI man and a tough out. Was making $14,400,000. And Jules Bergman, the 29 year old left fielder, outfielder, ranked C plus with a uh, 70 power, 14 connectivity. So they're going to lose 70. 72 speed, 56 fielding, and a 53 arm, and power versus left-handed pitching. He's only going to make three million three hundred thousand, so they're going to be saving eleven million one hundred thousand dollars on that move alone, Tom. Wow, and I, and I I'm going to guess that there are some B wolves management that are taking notes <laughs> and yes. getting ready to make calls to Grunt Manley's uh, <laughs> people. People, yeah. I get uh, get talks though, because that that's well. Macy York, his leg is starting to cramp up and run too fast. Unfortunately, the B-ranked pitch, 13 year old pitcher, is going to drop on her speed from eight down to two. <laughs> okay. And uh, Kent Ratherswell has lowered his asking salary from uh, 6.1 million to 5.9 million to see. Plus, ranked uh, 34-year-old starting relief pitcher is hoping to catch on somewhere before the playoffs start. Um, but you quick. know what? If if we pick, we could pick up Grunt Manley. I mean, we we'd have to let go of uh, Bertha Banks or Ruby Green. I would go with Bertha Banks. I think she's probably really? getting a bigger paycheck. Yeah. Well, let me let's look at first the player development because we got 12 or we got 1.2 million. And we could afford all of these but one. The Hurley Hurley big Hurley Bender mechanic tune up. So yeah. if we add two to Hurley's velocity and two to his accuracy, we really I mean that's so the Hurley thing's a good thing. We could afford that in one game if we hold on to this money. Otherwise all the rest of these are possible. And I don't know what you think of the rest of these. 
I don't like any with the minus though. I don't like that. Accuracy, Beavis or T's plus four or 14 to his accuracy. A million bucks for that though. Wow. So he'd be at 69 accuracy. Plyometrics for Bertha Banks, 14% chance to offer. Okay. Five or 15 with a 5% chance to gain connection versus right handed pitching. So she pick up, uh, she bet 59 or a possible 69 speed for a 34 year old. I don't know. 34, we got uh, the youngest would be, how is he yeah, the youngest? Hanley Dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he'd lose three on his power. I'm not interested in losing anything. Six plus six on his speed. Again, he's so fast already. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, I think he's already a Utah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lose yeah. Philly. So the Hanley Dexterous thing is just out. Done. Yeah. Um, next, we go to Beavis Ortiz. That's a plus four or plus 14. And a chance to gain composed. Um, I mean, to me, the, I think the pitching wouldn't stand out. <clears throat> Basically, any of them. Um, you know, Deshaun and Beavis stand to gain more than Hurley. Yeah. You know, they're, they're going to get more for the money. And <clears throat> Deshaun has a possible ball pro, and I'd say if we were going to pull the trigger on anything, maybe it's a Beavis Ortiz thing. And to his accuracy. I'd agree to that. But what do I know? I only got one hit today. So. <laughs> do you want to go on the Beavis thing? Sure. Pull the trigger. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, let's, I'll get the 14. Let's spend some money. Beavis or Tease. You sure you want to purchase umpire incentive for one one so, Yes, we're going to do that. And let's see what happens for the accuracy. We got plus four. And, you got and not acquired. Yeah, 5% not acquired. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, so the good news is Beavis or Tease is now 69 on accuracy, so where is, is is he? Oh, he's B plus. Was he a B before? I think so. He might have been a B. All right, so he ranked up a little bit there. Study the umpire. Study the umpire's price. <laughs> so twenty five year old is now a B plus. He's getting close to the A there. All right, so let's at least let's star right now, Grunt Manley. Grunt Manley's watch oh. 25, though. He's asking 25. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. going to have to come way down before he's in our... Holy cow. Well, we'll still was... star him. But... Okay. Yeah, I was just looking. I mean, the, the, what he was making at his former team, I was hoping, you know, if he would be in around that number. But, man, yeah. he's asking a whole lot more. Yeah. I'm thinking, you're going to look at, you're going to see Grunt Manley, Hito Munchada, Artichoke Sample more just sitting on the bench. Who's going to pay? Who's got that kind of money? Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to find a home this season at 25 million bucks. Cole Vincenzo, 15.9 mil. I mean, yeah, we would, what a gain that would be for us. So Ber Bertha is lucky that Grunt is so friggin' expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, that's that's the only thing that's keeping her. <laughs> All right, well, we'll call it there then. Um, yeah, we'll jump on a plane and head from New York to L.A. and we will see you. It or not in L.A. We're going out to Oakland, so we'll, we'll be at the um, what's it called, the Sakura Hills. We'll see you there for the next one. Until then, this is Tommy G, and this is PJ, and we're saying get out of here.